so I wanted to take this opportunity. I wanted to ask you, what do you keep looking back for? What I want to say, and I'm going to turn it this way so you can see this better. What I'm going to say is, why do you keep looking back in your rearview mirror? Why? What are you looking back in your past for? Why are you so concerned with somebody who's not in your life anymore? Now, I'm not talking about a loved one who's passed on, but I am talking about relationships. And I'm talking about why. Why? Would you be focused on something that did not make you feel better? Why are you focused on something that changed who you are? It almost made you forget what your purpose here was. It made you lose your voice. It made you lose your control. This person may have even taken away your desires to do anything, to even exist. For some of you, you need to sit there in your vehicle, if you have one. Look out that huge windshield of opportunity, a world of offers, a whole world that you have not even began to explore at this point. Your rear view mirror is so small because what's behind you doesn't matter anymore. It's not even part of the equation at this point. <clears throat> For some of you, the windshield in front of you is so huge because that is where you are going. There's no reason to look back at where you've been. See, a lot of you had a job and took care of yourself and did a lot of different things before this person came into your life. A lot of you maybe even used to write poetry or write music or enjoy dancing or singing. A lot of you used to smile. Remember that? You smiled before this person came into your life. And now, when is the last time that you actually smiled? I just want to know, can you tell me that? When is the last time that you actually smiled? See, not much else goes on because time just keeps ticking. So for a lot of you, you need to understand that there is an opportunity for you to grow. There is an opportunity for things to get better. All of our seasons change from fall to winter to spring to summer. Things happen for a reason. I'm talking to everybody that's around this entire world. Everybody, no matter where you're from. Okay? Everybody right now, you can see, as I'm looking at this globe, there are so many places in this world, so many, even under there, there's places in this world, okay? There's places here that you've never been. There's places here that you've always wanted to go. You're thinking that you're stuck in this one little town and that that's all that matters. Do you see the whole world? Do you see how many people, places, things that you can get involved in? You have nothing but time on your hands. But time does not stand still for anyone. See, it's all about what's in your heart. It's all about love. It's all about family. Whether you have a bicycle or whether, in fact, you have a car, it doesn't much matter. For some of you, it may take pieces to put together in order to get the complete picture, as you see. It may take you quite some time to realize that life is definitely on your side if you allow it. Some of you definitely know who holds the key to your heart. Some of you know that love is the master key that opens the gates of happiness. 
Love is the master key that opens the gates of happiness. So when you're walking down that life path, when you're trying to realize, where am I going next? As you take your time and you're kicking the stones or you're throwing the stones along the way, it is only a matter of time before things start to change. It's only a matter of time before you actually get to see the light. See, the angels are praying for you every single day. The angels can bring you so much joy and happiness. It's almost like a snow globe, right? It's almost like that snow globe, almost like that kid being in Disney again. For some of you, you may have a higher power that you pray to. For some of you, it may be God. It may be um, your angels. It may be whoever you want it to be. But as I said, time is the only thing that matters. Because time will not stand still for you or anyone else. Some of you may, in fact, pray. Some of you may, in fact, believe. But at the end of the day, for some of you who had to deal with the people who have been lost and went to the other side, yet gone, not forgotten, although we are apart, you say, your spirit lives within me forever in my heart. True. Like a rose that never dies. No matter what. For some of you, you're not ready to open up your gift. You're not ready to enjoy the gift of life that's been given to you. You know, our Vanessa, the angel, is waiting just to speak with you every single day. She's waiting to hear your prayers and your requests. Some of you know to open up the Bible. Some of you know you are not a puppet. You are not someone's doll. You have a heartbeat. You have a mind of your own. You have a way to pray. For some of you, there is going to be a lot of energy, a lot of blessings, a lot of forgiveness, and a lot and a lot and a lot of love coming your way. So don't turn it down. Remember that you are an everyday angel and not just to some, but you are kind and caring to everyone. Always there with a listening ear or a handkerchief to dry a tear. Your hand is first to volunteer. Everyday angel you are. Precious and dear. Don't allow someone to steal who you are. Don't allow somebody to rob you of your joy. Don't allow the angels not to come in. Don't block them. Call upon your angels. For those of you who have watched this video and those of you who know me, take back your power because time is running out. Don't allow somebody to steal your heart and break your heart. Know that there is a big world out there. There is many things that is going to change the way you see something, the way you think about things. Something is going to bring happiness to you. For a lot of you who thought everything was over and done with and couldn't be salvaged or saved, when you thought that there was going to be no more opportunities for love or happiness, for those of you who thought that you don't know how to forgive somebody who hurt you or devalued you or took things away from you, you're not knowing what to do next. For those of you who are just looking for that simple butterfly, that simple answer, that simple message, that sign from the angels and God in order to be able to do what is necessary to make you happy. Don't give up, you guys. Don't give up. All you need to do is to learn to 
believe in yourself. Learn that, you know what? Everything starts with one step at a time. Some of you are going to make some very strong and wise decisions to walk away from something that is not making you happy. Something that took your smile away. Something that took your routine away. Something that made you forget who you are. Someone that made you forget who you are. See, before you met them, you'd sleep in on your days off. You'd get your chores done. You'd do your exercises. You'd take your walk. You'd talk to your friends. You'd visit your family. And once you met them, everything about them became your life, their family, his sister, your sister, her sister. All that became yours. But then you forgot about what truly was yours that you came in with. So as I said before, when you're looking into your windshield of your car, just know that windshield is huge and your rear view mirror is small because you're not supposed to focus so much on what you lost or what's behind you, but focus more on what's coming, what's new. Focus more on being creative and working on you. It's okay you went through it. It's okay that it hurt you. It's okay you wanted to give up and quit. It's okay. Because now you're okay. You passed the test. You learned the lesson. Now it's time to heal. Now it's time to heal. And as we go through this journey in life, as we realize that it is nothing but the touch of the master's hand. It is nothing but the touch of the master's hand. Hopefully you can read all that. I'm going to hold that part over there for a minute so you can see. There's the beginning. So as we read, whenever life is out of tune and no melody soothes your soul, look to the master whose gentle touch will bless you and make you whole. Like an old violin with so little worth, a life may be far less than grand, but may be transformed in a moment, you see, by the touch of the master's hand. And that is done by Ken Brown. So I hope you all enjoyed my video. Please remember to stay strong, love who you are. Be proud of where you came from. Be proud of every scar that you earned. Those scars are battle scars, things you've gotten through, things you've went through, whether it's a visible scar or an internal scar, but one way or the other, be proud of where you've come from and where you are now.